The name of this video is Blender 2.49B Halloween Mask. Modeling with curves is a powerful blender feature. Few objects in life are pure straight lines. Life continues to throw curves at us. As an example, we're going to make a Halloween mask with Bezier curves. Blender itself uses Bezier curves extensively. The curves in the IPO window, as an example, are Bezier curves. So if you're going to be animating your scene, you can do a lot more if you understand how to manipulate Bezier curves. There are also some great modeling tools, such as loft modeling and beveling, which rely on Bezier curves. Knowing how to deal with Bezier curves is a fundamental Blender skill. Let's start with the default Blender scene and delete the default cube by right-clicking it, pressing the delete key, and confirming the delete. We'll work first with a special case of the Bezier curve, the Bezier circle. A Bezier circle is a Bezier curve that just happens to be a circle as well. Like all Bezier curves, and also like mesh objects, the Bezier circle can be moved, scaled, and rotated. How does the Bezier circle differ from the mesh circle? A mesh circle is defined with a certain number of vertices. The more vertices, the closer the circle looks like a circle. Of course, it's never a perfect circle. You pay a price for more geometry in terms of rendering time and modeling complexity. On the other hand, a Bezier circle is a true circle. We can increase the number of vertices, do smoothing and other tricks with a, a mesh circle to make it closer to a circle, but it's never exact. Also, mesh circles have modeling problems such as dark edges where normals are inside the mesh instead of outside the mesh where the edge can render with light. We're going to delete the Bezier circle and we're going to look at the more general case of Bezier curves. Our goal is to create a Halloween mask using Bezier curves and then convert it to a mesh. We'll start by adding the Bezier curve and use space, add curve, Bezier curve. A Bezier curve is a curved line called a spline. At each end are control vertices which you can select, grab, and move around. In addition to the control vertices, one at either end, there are lines that extend out which are called control handles. You can select a handle, move it in or out. You control the shape of the curve by controlling the handle. The handle on the left controls the shape of the spline coming in. The handle on the right controls the shape of the spline coming out. You can add vertices by pressing the control key while left clicking with your mouse. We'll add a few vertices to start the face. The handles on either side of the control vertices are purple lines. The handles by default are align handles. The other handle aligns with the one you select. You can change from align to free by pressing the H key. The handles turn black and you can turn each one individually. One handle controls how the curve moves into the control vertex the other controls how the curve moves out of the control vertex. For creating a simple outline, the easiest choice is Auto, which you turn on with Shift-H. Auto automatically smooths out the curve coming in and out of the spline. So we'll, do, we'll turn Auto on with Shift-H. Control-click creates an additional control vertex to make a shape from the outline. So you can watch while I make the face part of the mask first, where you can follow along and add your own control vertices. After we finish this, we're going to be cutting out the eyes and the mouth. But first we're going to add splines to the curve and select the vertex as well. When you're done with the outline and you want to close the curve, select a vertex and press the C key. The curve then closes. Just as an aside, you can create straight line handles easily. Select two adjacent vertices and press the V key. V is for vector. A vector makes the curve become a straight line. And press Ctrl Z to undo this because our mask doesn't have straight lines. Frequently, though, you will have to mo model an object, such as a wine glass, that's a mixture of straight lines and curves. You can still edit the face and add more depth to it. 
For example, you can add more control vertices by selecting two vertices, pressing the W key for uh, the specials menu, and doing a subdivide. By default, you control the curve in 2D space. You can't move it in 3D space unless you go to the Curve and Surfaces panel and switch on the 3D button. Then you can grab one of the control vertices, or any of them, and move them into 3D space. Okay, now that we have the, the face, we're going to add two eyes, which will be Bezier circles. So inside the mask, we'll do Space, Add, Bezier Circle, scale down the circle, and press the G key to move it to where the left eye should be. Note that there's a hole cut out of the face for the eye. Press Shift-D to duplicate the circle. Press the G key, position the second circle where the right eye should be. Let's make the mouth using another Bezier curve. So let's do Space, Add Curve, Bezier Curve. Press Shift-H to go into Auto Mode, and we'll add some vertices. Control left click until the shape of the mouth looks right. Press C to close the curve, and note again that you get a hole in the face for the mouth. We can select the vertices of the inner circle. Press the S key to scale the mouth. Now let's go into Object Mode. We're going to give this mask a little bit of depth. And one way of doing it is to extrude it. So there's a, a button called Extrude Value, and you can, you can increase the value, so make the mask thicker. You can also bevel the mask to round out the edges. The mask can still be edited as you go. It's time to turn our mask into a mesh object. To do this, tab out of Edit Mode and convert it with Alt-C to a mesh. From there, all the mesh functions are available. We'll smooth it, and then we'll add a subsurf modifier. We can do a lot more, in fact, such as changing to face mode and extruding some faces to create a nose, or grabbing some faces and moving them, you know, adding a material, whatever. To sum up, working with curves is a powerful addition to your modeling arsenal. If you can visualize your object from a curved outline, Using curves, including Bezier curves, is a powerful way to create a Blender object.